Congressional correspondent Mary Bruce is in Washington with the very latest. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Where there, well, there is some cause for optimism here in Washington this morning, but this is far from a done deal yet. So here's where things stand. Democratic leaders are now backing this new bipartisan compromise bill, and the president-elect Joe Biden. Now, Democrats here are really trying to up the pressure on Republican leaders, but Mitch McConnell so far is backing his own much smaller plan and for a week to try and sort this out. So the bottom line here is that the clock is really ticking, and with millions of Americans really suffering, a deal still isn't in sight just yet. Robin. And so needed. All right, Mary, thank you. I'm going to go back to Mary Bruce. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, there are signs of hope here, but this isn't done yet. Democratic leaders, and it seems now the president-elect, are supporting this new bipartisan compromise, even though it falls far short of what they've been demanding all along. The question here now is whether Republican leader Mitch McConnell can get on board. He's been pushing a much smaller plan. And what about President Trump? Lawmakers are now giving themselves one more week to try and sort all of this out. So the clock is ticking as millions of Americans, of course, are really suffering and in need of help. Michael. To Mary Bruce, she's live in Washington again tonight for us. And Mary, what have you learned? Well, David, it was their first conversation on COVID relief since the election, and both sides are now sounding increasingly optimistic. Tonight, a growing number of Republicans are now backing that new $900 billion bipartisan compromise bill. But Republican leader Mitch McConnell, the devil is in the details here. Now, Pre President-elect Joe Biden has signaled that he will support this new compromise, even if it is just a start, while President Trump, his position is still an X factor. Tonight, it simply isn't clear what he is willing to sign. Lawmakers have now given themselves one more week to try and sort all of this out. David, the clock is ticking. All right, Mary Bruce, on it all for us. Thank you.